Yeah, what happens? What happens? We tore it. What happens? We tore it. Oh! Oh! Hey, fuck a ball! Rocky Top, Tennessee Rocky Top, Tennessee Once two strangers climbed old Rocky Top Looking for a moonshine still Strangers ain't come down from Rocky Top Reckon they never will The corn won't grow at all on Rocky Top Dirt's too rocky by far That's why all the folks on Rocky Top Get their corn from a jar Rocky Top, you'll always be home sweet home to me. Good old Rocky Top, Rocky Top, Tennessee, Rocky Top, Tennessee. I don't know why LSU stormed the field after beating Ole Miss. It was a top 15 matchup, but that's a different topic for a different day. And you mean to tell me this isn't the craziest season so far since 2007? I am fully convinced it is. Some of you don't understand the significance of 07, so let's go over it real quick. The 2007 season, otherwise known as the year of the upset. Teams ranked in the top five of the AP poll were defeated by an unranked opponent 13 times in the regular season, setting a new record in the history of the AP poll. The start of all this chaos began on the first weekend of the season when FCS program Appalachian State defeated number five Michigan on the road, and it was immediately pictured as one of the greatest upsets in the history of college football. App State became the second FCS team to defeat a ranked FBS opponent and the first to do so against a top five team. The 2007 season also became known as the curse of the number two, where the team ranked number two by the AP poll was defeated seven times in the final nine weeks of the regular season. Unranked Stanford defeated number two USC. Unranked Oregon State defeated number two California. Unranked Rutgers defeated number two South Florida. Florida State defeated number two Boston College. Unranked Arizona defeat number two Oregon. Number four Missouri defeated number two Kansas. And last but not least, unranked Pittsburgh defeated number two West Virginia 13 to nine on December 1st. The number one and number two ranked teams had not lost in the same week in the same season since 1996. In 2007 alone, number one and number two fell during the same weekend three times, including in both of the final two weeks of the regular season. Just imagine a playoff format in 2007. The whole landscape of the ranking system in the playoff would have been flipped upside down. Number one, LSU lost to Kentucky in three overtimes, and number two, California lost to Oregon State 31 to 28 on October 13th. Again, number one, LSU lost to Arkansas in three overtimes on November 20th. 23rd, and on the same day, number two Kansas lost to number four Missouri. And then last but not least, number one Missouri lost to number nine Oklahoma 30 to 17 in the Big 12 championship game. And number two West Virginia lost to Pittsburgh 13 to nine in the same week. So those were just the, the three times number one and number two lost in the same week. Uh, it happened three times that year. And if you just look at the top 25, you'll see teams on there that you'd never think that would be on there. And the weird thing about it, number one, LSU lost to Kentucky in three overtimes and also lost to Arkansas in three overtimes. They still won the national title that year. So getting over those two humps and still winning the national championship just show how crazy the 2007 season was. 2007 was such an insane year and a year that would be forever remembered by fans. I just wish I was old enough to experience it. Now this year we've had some insane upsets already and we are about halfway done. In week 6 alone out of the top 11 teams ranked, 5 of those teams were defeated. That's almost 50% of the top ranked teams and we're only halfway through the season. Not to mention we had number 10 ranked Florida State lose to an unranked Georgia Tech team week 0. That should have been your first big sign that this season was going to be different. I mean yeah we already knew it was going to be different with all the conference alignments and the playoff changes but the game on the field itself hasn't been 
disappointing at all. There's been so many good games that I haven't even went over. And also, Oregon coming into a new conference and beating the king of the Big Ten, I would feel so disrespected as an Ohio State fan. They just walked in and bullied you for top dog. Sure, it's not an insane upset, but like, to me, that's like Texas beating Georgia this Saturday. This video is being recorded before that game, so if that happens, you know, that's going to be even crazier. I wouldn't doubt it's going to happen because this is the craziest season. And if you don't believe me, argue with me in the comments. I'd love to have a conversation. Uh, sure, I believe the 2007 season has had more upsets, but we're only halfway through. There's been so many field stormings too. It feels like every week there's some insane upset and there's a field storming and you see all these videos and clips on Twitter. And a weird fun fact, the last time Arkansas actually beat a top four team before beating Tennessee a couple of weeks ago, it was in 2007 when I previously mentioned that they beat number one LSU. So you guys let me know if you also believe this is the craziest season since 2007. I believe so personally. If you want more content like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. Give your opinions down in the comments. I also have a Twitter. I tweet every week about the upcoming college football. My DMs are also open. And like always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.